One thing COVID-19 has shown us is that small things can have huge consequences. A stone can cause an avalanche. The proverbial butterfly flapping its wings can set off a chain of events that lead to a hurricane. An invisible virus in one small marketplace can cause worldwide devastation. Even something as simple as a careless word can have consequences we would never have imagined. But Jesus offers a counter image to these destructive forces. He uses parables to describe how the kingdom of heaven emerges from something almost invisible to the naked eye and grows exponentially, producing an infinity of treasure. In Matthew 13, Jesus likens the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed, the tiniest of seeds that grows into the largest of trees and to a pinch of yeast that works all through the dough. And then he goes on to liken it to a treasure hidden in a field and to a pearl that is so valuable that the one who finds it sells everything he owns to possess it. Something insignificant and hidden, something overlooked, even despised, grows into something unimaginably precious. The images Jesus uses also point to deeper truths about the kingdom of heaven. The mustard tree gives shelter to the birds, reminding us of God's care for creation. As it says in Matthew 6, look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And the dough becomes bread that is used to feed huge crowds of hungry men, and not just men, but women and children too, those who are most vulnerable when food is scarce. The treasure and the pearl remind us, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So the kingdom is a place of abundant care and provision, but there's also a challenge. We are not to hoard our possessions, but to let them go in exchange for the treasures of the kingdom. Jesus uses images that are familiar to anyone who enjoys gardening or baking or even playing hide and seek. So he invites us to see the signs of the kingdom of heaven in our day to day lives, to recognise that God is at work amongst us, quietly, slowly, invisibly the God of the still small voice, however much we might wish him to be an earthquake. Small things can have huge consequences. One word of encouragement can change a life. One goat can feed a family. One man's death can change the world. So look out for the signs of the kingdom. See where God is at work and ask, how can you join in?